can a simple vitamin, one you might have heard about for a completely different reason, actually help fix your erections? The internet is flooded with quick fixes and miracle cures for erectile dysfunction, and it can be impossible to know what's real and what's just hype. Today, we're cutting through that noise to talk about one specific vitamin, folic acid, also known as vitamin B9. You may have heard it's important during pregnancy, but a growing body of scientific research is investigating its role in men's sexual health. In this video, we're going to look at the latest, most powerful scientific evidence connecting folic acid to erectile function. We'll break down exactly how it's supposed to work, what the studies found, and most importantly, give you a clear, responsible verdict on whether it's something you should consider. Be sure to watch until the end, because I'll share the safest and most effective ways to apply this information with some practical tips you can start using today. So. How could a vitamin possibly impact something as complex as an erection? To understand that, we need a quick refresher on Erection 101. At its core, a strong erection is all about healthy blood flow. Your body needs to send a powerful signal to the blood vessels in the penis, telling them to relax, open up, and allow blood to rush in. The master key for this process is a molecule called nitric oxide, you can think of nitric oxide as the ignition switch for an erection. When you're aroused, your nerves release nitric oxide, which kicks off the entire chain reaction. No nitric oxide, no erection. It's that fundamental. This is where folic acid enters the picture. Your body uses folic acid as a critical building block in the chemical pathway that produces nitric oxide. The theory is straightforward. If you're low on folic acid, your body might struggle to produce enough nitric oxide. This could lead to a weaker ignition signal, making it more difficult to get and maintain a firm erection. For years, this was just a theory with small, conflicting studies. But recently, researchers published a meta-analysis, a powerful study of studies that pools all the available data to get the clearest possible picture. They filtered through numerous papers and narrowed it down to nine high-quality studies to draw their conclusions. Here are the three major things they discovered. First, they looked at the correlation between folic acid levels and ED. They compared the serum folic acid levels, the amount circulating in the blood of over 980 men with erectile dysfunction to nearly 850 men without it. The result was clear. On average, men with ED had significantly lower levels of folic acid in their blood. What's more, the researchers found that the more severe a man's ED was, the lower his folic acid levels tended to be. This doesn't prove that low folic acid causes ED, but it shows a strong and consistent link between the two. The second finding is even more interesting. The analysis looked at studies where men with ED were actually given a folic acid supplement every day for a period of about three months. To measure the results, the researchers used validated questionnaires. Now, this isn't just any survey. It's a scientifically designed tool with specific questions that assign a score to a man's erectile function. It's a standardized way to tell if someone's erections are getting better, worse, or staying the same. In these studies, Men who took the folic acid supplement saw a statistically significant improvement in their erection scores. They were genuinely reporting better erectile function after three months of supplementation. This takes it a step beyond just a correlation and suggests that actively increasing folic acid levels can have a positive effect. But the third finding is perhaps the most compelling. The analysis included studies that focused on a particularly difficult to treat group, men with diabetes. Diabetes can damage both the blood vessels and the nerves involved in erections, so these men often don't respond as well to standard ED medications. In these studies, researchers took men with diabetes and ED and gave them all a common medication called Tadalafil, which you might know by the brand name Cialis. But they split the men into two groups. One group got the Cialis plus a placebo, or a sugar pill, the other group got the Cialis plus a 5 mg dose of folic acid every day. The results were remarkable. 
the men who took Cialis combined with folic acid had a significantly greater improvement in their erections compared to the men taking Cialis alone. This suggests that folic acid doesn't just work on its own, but it might also act as a booster, helping standard ED medications work more effectively, especially in men whose bodies are resistant to treatment. So, with all this promising evidence, should you run out and buy a bottle of folic acid? Let's get into the practical questions. The dosages used in the studies that showed a benefit ranged from 0.4 mg to 5 mg per day. It's very important to note that 5 mg is a high, prescription-level dose that's far greater than what you find in a typical multivitamin. In terms of safety, the side effects reported in the studies were generally mild, including things like a minor headache, back pain, or flushing, and no one dropped out of the trials due to side effects from the folic acid. So, here is the responsible, evidence-based verdict. The jury is still out. While the link is fascinating and the research is extremely promising, we still need larger, longer-term studies to figure out the perfect dose, how long you need to take it, and how long the benefits last. Because of this, I cannot definitively recommend that everyone with ED start taking high-dose folic acid supplements. It is absolutely essential that you talk to your doctor before starting any new supplement, especially a high dose. Folic acid can interact with certain medications, including some drugs used to treat seizures. Your doctor needs to review your full health history to make sure it's a safe option for you. Now, while the clinical science we've discussed is the foundation, I know many of you are looking for powerful, all-natural approaches you can explore on your own. My job is to bring you the best information from all corners of men's health. For that reason, I want to share a separate, eye-opening video with you. It reveals a completely different natural method, a simple seven-second home remedy that thousands of men are now using to restore their youthful hardness and stamina. It focuses on reversing what it calls the real root cause of performance decline. It's a different perspective from what we've discussed, and it's truly fascinating. To see this special presentation, just point your phone's camera at the QR code on the screen right now. I've also put the direct link in the pinned comment at the top of the comments section below this video. Okay, now for everyone, let's talk about a fantastic and safe first step you can take today. Instead of reaching for a supplement bottle, a great first step is to boost your folate through your diet. Folate is the form of vitamin B9 found in food, and many healthy foods are packed with it. You can find high amounts of folate in legumes, which includes things like lentils, beans, and chickpeas. Dark leafy greens like spinach are powerhouses of folate. Other great sources include broccoli, lettuce, and fruits like bananas, melons, and oranges. Even things like tomato juice, mushrooms, and certain organ meats like beef liver are rich in folate. Simply focusing on adding more of these whole foods to your diet is a great way to support your body's nitric oxide production without the risks of high-dose supplementation. And this brings me to my final and most important point. For the vast majority of men, erectile dysfunction isn't just a localized problem. It's often an early warning sign of underlying cardiovascular health. The same things that are bad for your heart are bad for your erections. Therefore, the most proven, powerful, and permanent way to improve your erectile function is to focus on your overall health. Maintaining a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, keeping your weight in a healthy range, managing stress, and quitting smoking, these are the pillars of erectile health. These lifestyle changes have been shown time and time again to have the biggest impact. So, to summarize, the science connecting folic acid to erectile health is real and exciting. It appears to work by helping your body produce the critical nitric oxide molecule needed for strong blood flow. However, the research is still in its early stages, and you should always consult your doctor before starting supplements. Your best bet is to focus on a folate-rich diet and, more importantly, on the foundational lifestyle habits that support your entire cardiovascular system. Focus on your overall health, and you'll be taking the best possible step for your erections and your entire body. Remember to take care of yourself, because you're worth it.